Hey guys, Scott Drummond here. Thought I'd put together a little time-lapse video to show you kind of how I work in Photoshop. This was originally supposed to be just like a test video, but I kind of liked how it turned out, so I thought I'd just kind of make it a real video and put it out. Hopefully it gives you kind of an idea of my process and how I work, it helps you, uh, you know, improve, you know, what you're doing, it gives you a greater uh, understanding of your own workflow. So yeah, let's check it out. So I usually start off uh, with a very, very rough kind of shape of what I'm trying to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to basically go in and start making like a head and some shoulders. Uh, pretty basic shape, just a guy. I kind of was like, oh, I'm just going to draw something. So the idea here uh, is I'm going to use the brush tool to essentially uh, just kind of make a general outline of what this guy is kind of going to look like. Some basic, basic, basic shapes. Um, and then I take that layer and I put it about 10% 10, 10 opacity. Uh, you can do that by either pressing uh, one on your keyboard with the uh, move tool selected or uh, go up to the top right in the layers palette and uh, move that op opacity down. Uh, and then kind of keep going back in on top of a this layer in a new layer um, and kind of start roughing in some more stuff. So this is sort of a second pass of pencils and now I'm going in with more of a third pass kind of pencil slash inks. Uh, looks like I'm trying to make some adjustments here. So I'm using the uh, Kyle brush uh, animator pencil for all of this. Uh, I think it's really nice, um, you know, and I think here I've switched my brush up to something else. Uh, Digi, I don't know, at least let's find out, hold on. Yeah, it's the uh, Tech Bent Pen Tilt is what I'm using for the inks on this one. So Tech Pen Tilt, I'll have a link below for that. Um, and so uh, kind of just taking that rough shape uh, on the layers below and uh, going back in on top and, and, and getting some, some better lines. I, later on, I decide that uh, these lines aren't great and I kind of move some, a bunch of stuff around, but we'll see how that works later. Um, uh, you just saw me use the lasso tool to kind of move that eye around. What you do there is you just grab that layer you got. Uh, you you use, press the L key or uh, the lasso tool. Select what you want and use the move tool uh, by pressing V or that top uh, one and, and, and moving uh, what you want around. Uh, I was unhappy with that position of the eye, and I will be later on as well. Uh, so... Uh, kind of as I go through here, uh, make make more you know, the hair. Uh, still using that tech pen, and I'm not really trying to keep super close to the uh, you know initial pencils. I'm trying to make it really look nice. Here I've set up uh, an action, so I've kind of blocked in uh, what's going on with these this pencil t uh, the pen tool, and what's happening with the pen is that it is anti-alias, which means that what is going on is the uh, it kind of goes from black to sort of gray and in order to fill in that correctly uh, and so you don't have all the, a bunch of little dots um, I've set up an action to uh, sort of uh, help help me out there to basically uh, it expands it creates a select you create a, create a selection with the one tool and then it, the action expands that selection and uh, fills it with black and then kind of keeps going uh, so now uh, I have my uh, finished ink layer or at least for now finished and I've created an another layer below and I'm using the pencil tool to sort of um, block in everything around here uh, so I, I blocked in everything I'm going to do with one color um, and then I uh, at the top there hit uh, the uh, lock mask or whatever uh, uh, for the layer so uh, it, I can't draw outside of that layer and I kind of blocked in all of the colors uh, here I uh, you kind of see what I do in there if you alt or option click on the um, in on the space like right in between that little line right in between the layers you can create a, you can make the layer that's right above it um, sort of a, a subservient to the, the the below layer so it won't be able to uh, do anything outside of that line so it's sort of helpful in these sorts of shadow situations to uh, do that so what I've done here to create these shadows is I've selected like a nice purple uh, and set this layer at um, you know a, a, like I think it's like a 50% opacity and set it to multiply so now I'm kind of going in on top of this and uh, making some 
kind of a, a nice reddish hue for, for his cheeks and nose and uh, put that, you know, also uh, uh, you know, as, an, uh, as a layer that only exists uh, where the uh, layer below it is. And then I use a mask, uh, looks like on there, to kind of uh, do that. Here I'm going to grab, yeah, the uh, brush tool and have a big, big swath of uh, yellow to sort of do that uh, and but everything has seem is, is is on those kind of adjustments right above and, and, and clipping to uh, that main color layer uh, which is really nice uh, so I don't you know go outside my lines and I think at this point yeah I decide why am I working on this giant canvas all right so I've gone in now and uh, I, I use the image uh, and, and did a horizontal flip on this bad boy and realized that his eyes looked real wonky and so I uh, started to move them all around. This is probably not what you want to do. You should probably have checked this all before you uh, got this far into coloring etc. So, uh, but here we are and I was like ah, I, I could leave it or I could fix it and I should just fix it because then I, uh, I'll, I will be happy, more happy with this drawing. And that's what happens. Sometimes you're, you know, you kind of get near the, the finish line and, and you see that, no, there's, there's a lot more to go. So that's sort of what's happened here. Um, uh, and then I kind of flip it back over and I still am unhappy with where this says. I, 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 this far eye is really bugging me. So I kind of keep going back and forth on it. Um, boy, really, really killing it. Really, really overdoing it. But I finally figure out, oh, okay, it's not so much tilted up, it's it's tilted uh, down a little bit. I think I might erase it one more time. Um, nope, I'm happy with it there, I guess. So now i got to keep going. Um, I'm going to basically redo a lot of what I, I already done since I was a fool and only used the selection instead of a mask tool. So... Uh, Basically, masks are uh, really uh, essential to my workflow as well. I like to make them uh, basically that, uh, ah, shoot, the, the little um, kind of square with a circle in it will create a, a separate layer that's tied to the layer that you're on. Um, and basically what happens there is those layers will tell you, tell the layer what, what shows through. And that's it. I save it all up, and um, I'm done. I'm good to go. Hopefully that gives you guys a pretty good idea of my process. It's pretty basic to start with the sketch, throw some inks on there, uh, use the pencil tool to kind of create some color blocks, and then go back in over that with some uh, multiply layer uh, you know, rendering for shadows and you know some you know big brush gradient kind of stuff. And then um, if you screwed it up, you know it's okay to go back in and fix it. Like that's fine. It's not a big deal. Nobody cares. It's it's always a work in progress until it's done. So hopefully that helps you guys uh, improve your workflow. And make sure to you know subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helps you out. Uh, I'm going to be making a bunch of these you know, to get a little more granule. This is kind of a general overview, but I really want to do a deep dive in like, everything I do and you know show you guys a lot of my process. So I think it'll be really fun. All right, that's about it. Thanks so much. Take care.